Welcome to Voices of Privacy. In a recent webisode, we talked about smart devices and how they collect all kinds of information about you and what you do. We talked about smart watches, smartphones, even smart home speakers. But what about your car? How much information are you willing to share with it? To know more about this topic, we had the opportunity to interview two professors who did a study on smart cars, Drs. Oliver Zag and Dr. Rajiv Kohli. So welcome. So we're all curious. We all have smart cars or may have them in the future. What is it and why are these smart cars collecting so much information and what kind of information are they collecting? Yeah, so uh, smart cars are really computers on four wheels, right? Uh, and they collect all sorts of data. And you might even ask, what's the kind of data they're not collecting? They're collecting any data about the car itself, the way you drive it, and also data about you. Ranging from the route you're traveling, to the acceleration and braking data, to even the position of your seat and the radio station you're listening to. So that's really the connected car in short. And why do they need to collect that data? That might be uh, a really important question. And there are really good reasons for collecting this data. Much of the data is simply needed for the functioning of the car. So if you want to have driver assistance systems, assisted parking, for instance, then you need to have data about the parking space, the environment, and so forth. If you want to offer remote maintenance services, you need to know something about the condition of your vehicle, no doubt about this. But there are also, let's say, the yeah less comfortable usages of this data. So car companies need this data also to improve their bargaining position. They want to use this data then to trade this with uh, insurances, for instance with uh, repair services so that when you go to maintain your car, the service garage might need to pay a fee to be able to access your driving data. Um, when you have a warranty claim, maybe the car company will look into your driving record and say, well, the warranty claim might be not justified. Well, Oliver, this is really the question I have because there was a Washington Post article I think you referred to and it was like 2020 and it says, you know, can my smart car track my teams? Um, can my insurance company have information about my driving that's going to have an impact? Things like that. Is that possible? Yeah, I think it, with many connected cars, it's possible. So uh, current connected cars have around about 200 plus sensors on board. Many have video cameras. Um, a typical Tesla connected car has in the area of eight different uh, cameras, both uh, a mirror or capturing the outside of the car and inside the car. There were even sort of uh, newspaper reports, right, about employees of Tesla uh, w basically uh, watching uh, car video recordings of people in the car, but also of the interiors of garage, right, where the cars were parked. So there's extensive data, uh, video data, uh, but all sorts of data really that is captured and that can be used for different purposes. Uh, there was also a case in Berlin, for instance, where a car manufacturer was asked by police authorities to share data in order to find who was responsible for a traffic accident. So um, this data is being shared for yeah, a number of different reasons and is used for different purposes. And we as users, we are sometimes not aware right, of the different possible usages of, uh, of this data. And we've got very limited ability these days to control what happens with our data. And that's really yeah, where much of the worry, much of the worry and concern comes from. I want to add to the answer that Oliver had to your question, Franz. Can they share this data? The short answer is yes. They can share it with insurance companies. They can share it with law enforcement. There was a case where uh, somebody had uh, keyed the side of a car. Uh, and uh, turns out the Tesla was recording all of that. So uh, in this case, they were able to track down a criminal, as Oliver also mentioned the case in Berlin. Mm -hmm.